Hello, sixth grade. This is part three of your optical illusion one and two. You have your artwork that you finished, the square one and the circle one. Um, you'll need the large piece of black paper that's nine by 18. It was in your packet. You'll need a bottle of glue or a glue stick. You'll need a scissors and a ruler. You're turning your design over, both of them, and you're going to take your ruler and you're going to measure inch marks. At every inch, we are going to put a dot. Move my ruler down and I do the same thing over here. To now draw a line and connect the dot. Number them backwards. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I do this to both designs. going to cut my strips, trying to keep both designs separate. Take my scissors and I cut on the line. I to put the design back together, so I flip them over and I put it together like a puzzle piece. I'm gonna glue these pieces alternating each picture on this piece of paper. So I open up my glue bottle. A little bit of glue will do. I just make a really thin line and I take this one Put it right on the edge of the paper. No gaps showing, but, but it right up next to each other. Another line, and I go to this one. I go back and forth until all my paper is glued. dry for a little bit because now we have to fan fold. Let this dry um, so that you're ready to fan fold. Give it about five, 10 minutes. Now we are ready to fan fold. So fan fold, I like to turn mine upside down and I'm folding right on the um, edge. So you only see the one design and then I go back and forth. when you open it up, it looks like this. But the cool thing that happens is when you tilt it. If you go this way, you can see one artwork, probably the orange and the yellow. When you flip it over, you can see the black and the red artwork. So that's kind of like an optical illusion. Optical illusion, have fun.